So on the Volvo here, one of the things we talked about was the not so rubber rubber underneath the seat. And I've got the new rubber here. Um, so I'm gonna try, I have an idea of how to get the new stuff in. I mean, it's obvious you just pull this out, but you know, how do you stretch it? And I have a couple ideas. I'll set up a tripod and we'll see if they work. So you'll definitely run into this problem when you do yours. Of course, you get it all strung through here. And you just don't have enough length. So my idea is we're going to pull on this and stretch it and then clamp it. And then pull and stretch and clamp. And just keep moving that stretch down. That might work. Might not. See how our hands hold out. We'll give that a try. And then for the final, I thought maybe I could grab this with a pair of vice grips and kind of pull it over here. But it's, eh. it's really tight. <laughs> it's really tight. We'll see what it's happens. Really tight. Or, or maybe uh, maybe you leave the slack in one of the middle ones. Oh, yeah. I think a warmer day would help a lot. Yeah, we'll see where we get. Put it in the oven. Yep. Oh, yeah, <laughs> see, there's, there's no play. There's well, and I've heard no from play. other people there's just no play in these. They're, <laughs> they're really, oh, really tight. I don't know what they did at the factory. Some special tool that, you know, yanked on it and pulled it through. Don't know. We'll try a couple different things. Okay, you can tell by the heavy breathing <laughs> that we got this on here. It really takes the strength of two people. This is not a one person job. I would never try this by myself. Maybe on a hot day, then you'd pass out. <laughs> Look at Clint's face. That was tough. That was <laughs> but we just stretched each one, two people pulling on it and clamped these up on here. And this last one, we were both pulling and uh, we got it. We got it around there, so it can be done. <laughs> the clamp method works. I, there might be another way. There might be another way to stretch it. Maybe a nice hot day, get the stuff warm. We definitely heard some some threads on the edge popping a little bit, but you know, overall, it's in good shape. When I had my '66, though, I used um, a webbing kit for those aluminum lawn chairs that we all had in the '70s and '80s, and uh, that worked really well too. Um, it wasn't as tight as this though. This is pretty awesome. I think this is a, a good way to do this. Well, that, that worked really well. I've never ever sat in one of these with good seats. You can see, Clint, sit up. What are you doing? I am sitting up. I'm totally I'm, I'm sitting up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not taller than you. No. <laughs> so this... Well, what's funny is I'm looking through under the steering wheel yeah so yeah and i'm it's gonna be nice if i'm up in the right place yeah right place. this is this would be great the, the um the sun visors will actually be usable which they weren't before so this is pretty cool let's do the driver's let's seat do it. yeah let's do it well here i am talking to you from the height of luxury or at least five or six inches taller what do you think Clint? much better and now now i mean we look at the two of us same yeah we're about the same height <laughs> And you know the incredible headroom is uh, a little less incredible, but it's still it's still good. I'm six foot one, and uh, I fit in here just fine. But I'm like looking out the windshield instead of through the steering wheel. It's magnificent. That was a pain, but totally worth it. Yeah, two people, definitely two people. All right, the next thing, the next surprise is uh, what I'm going to do to these seats, and this is this is a stopgap measure, but. Uh, uh, I'm excited about it too. We'll see how it looks. Okay. Well, we got the new rubber in, the new seat springs, as you would. And uh, I bought some cheap Amazon leather seat covers. They're they're full back. But they're not leather on the back. They're just nylon stuff. They fit okay just to cover up the, the crinkly bits. And then the back, I just put a, uh, a wool blanket I had. Uh, on the back of the seat and just to cover up the the bad bits back there um, And you saw I put the carpet back there, but we're getting closer. It's just uh, Getting ready to drive around this summer. I think it'll be nice um, I'm gonna put it to bed here in just a second though because they're expecting eight to ten inches of snow tonight um, And even though you know, we've got a carport um, I just covered up so it's a little bit more covered and the wind comes up and wants to tear things apart. So just, uh, you know, have a nice blanket for the night. But, uh, you know, there's at least an afternoon of work on the Volvo and the Volkswagen. And, uh, 
you know, there'll be more coming as it gets warmer. We uh, get into February and start approaching March. You know, it's light until six, seven o'clock at night. And, uh, you know, actually in the 50s or 60s some days. So that'll be nice. And we can get out here and do some some work. But uh, until next time, we'll, we'll see you. You get out in your garage and, and just work for an hour or two. That's all it takes. Uh, and pretty soon your project will be done as well. I mean, that's that's how I did the Beetle. Just uh, an hour of work a day, maybe five hours of work a night, or, or uh, you know, just spend a weekend working on a bigger project. And, and uh, it soon all comes along. You know, I did that in about 18 months or so, and uh, it came along nice. So uh, Ingrid here will come along the same. She'll she'll come together, and, and uh, she's ready to drive now. It's just I'm waiting for warm weather, and uh, uh, we'll get it out. Thanks for joining me today, and you have a great weekend and a great evening. We'll talk to you later. Well, I did the experiment with the wood flooring, and it might look nice for shows and things, but I think for driving and practicality, it's just a little too loud, so I'm going to take that out. Um, this whole mess is uh, for Christmas time. I drove around town uh, and sing singing Christmas carols to, to friends. So we had some Christmas lights on the car. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm gonna take out the wood floors that I made uh, on Buddy the Beetle and I'll put in uh, some carpet mats I got and I'll bring you back uh, once that's done. If you haven't seen how I made these, uh, I can, uh, well, it's in the uh, Buddy the Beetle playlist, Wood Floors. I can put the link in, in the uh, description below. But essentially, I took the uh, the rubber floor mats and just copied them. Uh, and that was it. It was pretty easy. So uh, I'll bring it back, show you what this looks like. And Clint is here again, right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the uh, the carpet set from CIP1. It's not a carpet set, it's, it's the floor mats. You know, fits from 54 to, 82 or whatever but uh man it kind of matches the color of the original well on the video it doesn't look as matchy but with my eyes it's really hard to see a difference a little weird thing over there maybe we'll cut that off fold, fold it under i don't know but it's going to make this a lot quieter a lot more pleasant to drive around got the back seats happening as well so now it almost looks like a carpet set that's that's pretty good i like it Anyway, it was like a hundred and something dollars, and right now the January sale it's on sale for like 70 something. So I don't know when you'll see this video, but they do go on sale. CIP1 also does a, a, a March Madness sale in March that I like to buy a few hundred dollars worth of parts because it's generally like a minimum of 20% off. So it's a good deal. But that looks pretty good. We'll stick it.